The Asian and Pacific Islander Student Center collaborated with ASI art programs to bring the Painting the Pacific, a cultural event that gave students an opportunity to create their own art piece with guest artist Jason Pereira. Um, today we brought a uh, guest artist, Jason Pereira, JP. He is the artist in residence at our Pacific Island, uh, Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum in Long Beach. And what he's going to be doing is walking us through a collaborative like art, um, art installation. And that's this right there. It's a world famous canoe now. And it's went around the world. They did a three year tour around the world uh, recently. And there's a movie out, a uh, documentary on it that just got released. But in order for them to, to navigate, to sail their canoe, they, they didn't have the knowledge. So they had to search the Pacific and they found an old navigator, uh, Papa Mount. And so that's him up in the upper left-hand corner. And that little thing, that diagram you see in front of him, it's called a star chart or star compass. And it's called a star compass because it looks like a compass, but why? It, refers to the stars is because it's not really a compass the way that we think about it in the Western world. It's a it's a mental construct. And the way that he and his culture divide, uh, looked at the, the, the sky, they divided the sky up into 32 star houses. And each star house they had to memorize. And so they used that memorization to help guide them when they navigate across. We'll show you how to use the stencils here. But you're gonna end up with something like this. And so we'll use the stencils to paint and dab the colors that are on the table. And so I connected with JP when I met him at the Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum in Long Beach. Um, uh -huh. I saw the work that he did and I love like the messaging behind all that he yeah, does. He does um, a lot of his work in mural art is bringing visibility to communities that are not always visible by media and all these um, and society as a whole. So he has different murals based on like Pacific Islanders in Long Beach and different parts of LA. And we just thought like, you know, we grow up around art like this all the time, but we don't know as much of the history behind it a lot. And this um, this is just a cool element to bring in his whole. His whole artistry is connecting so tradition with new medium. So maybe there wasn't like spray paint and this different art in the Pacific Islands, but he brought different brushes and he brought the, um, the history of wayfinding and the art of the different canoes like the Ho'olea, uh, Ho'olea, that um, we're able to bring visibility to. I don't want to. I don't want to do one. Are you going to grab me one if you? I don't know, it's like this. Oh, there's like a button thing. I thought it was like a stick put over your head. Yeah, so the one, the one that you have, you have right now is a sharper line. Oh, yeah. So she's yeah. more straight, kind of. <laughs> so here I added a, a second layer. So it connects us. Okay, so how did you hear about this event? Uh, I mainly heard of this event through like uh, the cultural centers. I usually stay at a lot of them, and um, also online. There's like an email that's sent out, and I thought it'd be really cool to go and see what happens. Okay, does this have any like special meaning to you, or was it just something you were interested in learning more about? Oh, I just wanted to learn more about Pacific Islander culture, and I realized that there's an event, so I was like, let's go. Okay, so what are you doing with your piece? Like, what are you thinking of as you're um, making it? I guess more of like expression as to what I want from life. Essentially, I don't. I didn't go into it like thinking like, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. Is like just listening to what he was talking about and learning more about. Oh, this is what the art means, what the culture is about, and what they do with the art. I guess that's what helped me guide my thought process into like just like expressing myself, which is weird because I normally don't. Find it easy to express myself through art. Because yeah. you got to think it's going to be the background to the stencil that you put on too. You know. There you go. Yeah, I just wrote. You can do patterns. Okay, so what made you come out to this event today? I thought it was something really interesting, uh, something out of my comfort zone, and I kind of wanted to try something and kind of disperse out of what I'm usually used to. 
Okay, so how do you feel learning about the history of this art and actually doing it yourself? It's really cool. It's really cool uh, not only doing it, but learning the history behind us to kind of understand and respect uh, like why or how they're doing this and how they're doing the it. It's really interesting. So what made you come out to this <laughs> like, Oh, I really wanted to learn. It sounded super interesting. And I also have never spray painted. So. take on, you know, about your family and why you did what you did with your piece. That was really interesting to me. So, thank you. Um, because I just want to encourage you guys again to come out to Payam.